It is the ultimate game of trust, greed and betrayal. Vying for a share in one million dollars. Fourteen strangers are heading to New Zealand, all hoping to reach the summit. One million dollars. Wow. Oh my God. You make it to the summit in 14 days, the money on your backs will be the final cash prize. It's a bit of a catch. You must stick together as a group. So you'll only be as fast as your slowest hiker. If you move too slow, you won't make the summit deadline. You'll go home with nothing. Looks like fun? Yeah. It won't be. <laughs> <laughs> and, and folks, check this out. This, I know. Is, this is what you see here. It, scenery. I've never seen a show like this. Um, joining us now is the, the host with the most, Aussie <laughs> actor, uh, Dry Courtney, live from New Mexico, where he's a woolly mammoth, um, <laughs> um, doing it, some there filming, is. some different kinds of swimming. Look at him. Um, Jai, we saw this the other day, yeah, and I'm not, so I'm not joking about this. This is great television, mm -hmm. the best I've seen in a long time. How was it to be part of? Oh, it's awesome. It's, it's epic. It was, a, it was an epic thing to film. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, viewers are going to are gonna feel all that. They get kind of immersed in it. Um, mm. The way it was shot and what these competitors were, were put through was, was um, truly incredible. This is the thing. I mean, we, we were watching it and you actually, you feel it along with the competitors. That's the thing. It's just every, you never know what's around the corner. Mm. And then it, just when you think you're safe, Jai walks in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always bad news when I show up, but uh, that's the way I like it. <laughs> Man, it's, you know, there is some incredible scenery, as we were talking about, and you're perched on top of some of these summits as well. This couldn't have been easy to shoot. The, the crew has done an incredible job. But also the contestants are interesting, everyday people. We had our favourites mm. straight away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're a great group. It's, uh, it's a real kind of motley bunch of, of everyday Aussies. Um, none of them, you know, with any kind of mountaineering experience. And obviously this is something that we want some to be able to achieve, but uh, certainly not easily. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you know, you said it, the, the crews, of the, all the people that made this possible, were really um, the effort they went to, to to get up there and scout those locations and safety everything was, was uh, truly remarkable. You know, it's funny because there are, like, a number of survival shows out there, right? But this one just feels a bit different. What do you reckon it is about the summit? I think it's the formula uh, of the gameplay and, and I, I think it just pushes the boundaries of what we've come to sort of get used to with this sort of thing. It's, it's a little different from other competition game shows. And the, what, where these folks are is, like, you know, you can't pay to go on this walk. It's, not, it's a once-in-a-lifetime mm. opportunity. Um, and the kind of kicker is, you know, they'll they'll get a chance if they make it to the top, to uh, you know, to win win enough money to change their lives. Yeah, um, yeah, it's really cool. But the the mental fortitude and the mm. you know the the sort of test of wits and and strength and endurance that they're going to have to you know, push through is. Um, some something special. It's also all walks of life and just because someone may be a bit older or not physically up to it, mm. it doesn't eliminate them from the competition. I mean, this is, this is what I found exciting. Not at all, yeah, and I think that's the funny thing. Obviously, there's going to get some curveballs thrown at them mm. and um, there'll be a few twists and turns, but it, it's not a straight kind of test of athleticism at all. Mm. Um, so, uh, you know, probably the folks that, uh, you know, at the start of the climb that thought they, they had this, this mountain number, um, they're the ones that, that catch, a, catch a surprise pretty quick. There's, there, I'm not going to ruin the surprise, uh, Jai, because I, I would actually get sacked. <laughs> um, but, but there is something that happens at the end of this show mm. that, that I think changes TV in Australia. I, I, I have never been so emotionally connected to, to what happens so at the end. So quickly as well. Oh no, it's yeah. brutal. Um, also, um, Joy, well done mate. Um, this is not exactly your wheelhouse but it could easily be. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Thanks brother. a lot. Yeah, look, it was a lot of fun. I just jumped at the opportunity because mm. yeah. I'm a, obviously a huge fan of action adventure as a, 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 you know, the genre as a whole but um, to see what, what uh, these folks wanted to, to do with this show, I thought it was so ambitious and and I'm really thrilled to be a part of it. I'm right. pumped for everyone to see it. It's awesome. Just don't ever think about doing Brecky TV because I'm yeah. stuffed. I'm cactus if you do. <laughs> You're feeling every now and then, Joe. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Love your work, brother. Go well. One and day. you can catch the first Jeez, episode guys. of The Summit this Sunday at 7pm, folks. It's incredible. It's one to watch, that it. is for sure. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs>
What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?